Recording drums is a tricky business. More often than not, you get drums that sound like this. When all you wanted were drums that sound like this. Or all you had were hand claps. When all you needed were drums. For the first time, this is all possible. SPL now bring you the Drum Exchanger, a revolutionary drum replacement tool that works with SPL's unique level-independent transient processing. It comes loaded with great features, two transient designers, a rim shock control, four custom SPL drum kits, an editor to create your own sounds, and a very powerful trigger engine. You can trigger, load, audition, edit, process, and play all in one plugin. So let's have a quick overview of the most important features. The second section on the left that deals with the original signal contains a very broad bandpass filter and a transient designer. The bandpass filter is split into a high pass, and a low pass filter. As with SPL's original transient designer, you can shape the sound of the original signal. You can give it more or less attack or more or less sustain. The ducking feature below controls how much of the original signal is suppressed when the sample is triggered. In the trigger section you can select the best frequency for your triggering and filter out any spill with the bandpass filter. As with all sections you can solo this section to hear better how your changes affect the results so you can work more accurately. After filtering, you may need to readjust the trigger gain for proper detection. It is recommended to set the trigger gain high enough so the loudest drum hits make the right level meter hit the red LED at the top. This guarantees that the loudest sample is being played. The green arrows define the sensitivity of the triggers. If they blink together, a sample is being triggered. When the red arrow blinks, it means that in a tom tom or snare drum multi layer sample, a rim shot is added. The rim control defines how much of that rim shot is added to the sample. In the sample section, you can load, audition, and play any sample from any drive in your system, including the pristine SPL drum kits that are included in the drum exchanger, or use kits in the SPLX format from a growing number of third-party manufacturers. You can load up to four kits or individual samples and switch between them on the fly. But you can not only switch between the kits, but also between the individual drums of every kit. All the SPL kits offer individual rim sounds for the snares and toms that you can mix in with the rim control. In total, the SPL kits offer 16 velocity levels recorded in 5 variations, summing up to 80 individual hits per drum sound. The second transient designer only affects the samples you are triggering. As with the first transient designer, you can control the attack and the sustain of the sample. In addition, you can also control the tuning of every drum. This section features yet another bandpass filter that only affects the sampled sound.
To listen exclusively to the triggered sample, you can solo this section as well. And then define the attack. And of course, the sustain of the sound. And you can tune the sample up to an octave up or down. Shaping the finished sound, mixing between the original signal and the sample, and controlling its output gain is the job of the output section. And you can mix between the original signal and the sample. And then of course, set the output gain for the best level. The editor of the Drum Exchanger enables you to create your own multi-layered samples. You can save them under Drum Exchanger's own format SPLX. You can use as little as just one sample, but you can also use samples in eight different velocities at three variations each. On top of that, you can also add a rimshot sound that will be added to the sample once a certain level is reached. You can create these samples live with a real drum, with a drum computer, a sampler, or with one of the commonly used virtual drum instruments. Just select the file from anywhere in your system, any hard drive or the internal drive, and once you have listed all the samples, you can export it as one SPLX file. The Drum Exchanger's level-independent transient-based triggering makes it irrelevant whether the original signal has a lot of crossbleed or not. With the bandpass filter, you can narrow down the best frequency for your trigger signal, and samples will be triggered based on transients. That means that a snare drum track like this one still provides enough information for a perfectly accurate trigger. Triggering has just become the easiest thing. Now if you want to check out the Drum Exchanger for yourself, you can go online to www.spl.info. You'll find the Drum Exchanger, the sample packs, and a manual there. You can download it, install them, and try them out for 14 days without any limitations. You can also check back to our website for more videos on the Drum Exchanger and what you can do with it.